WCCO Chief Political Reporter Pat Kessler joins us live from the Capitol. And Pat, Paul Manafort confirmed to the AP that he worked for this uh, big money aluminum guy. Yeah, yeah. But, but this was, it ended in 2009. He says it's being, right. uh, kind of, it's being cast as if you were doing it right up to the uh, last minute here. Well, put this on the pile of all of these other things that come out about Russian connections with people associated with the Trump campaign or President Trump. Uh, Paul Manafort was an important uh, part of the Trump election campaign. No matter what the White House says now, saying he was had a minimal role for a minimal amount of time. Yeah, that's laughable. <laughs> but in this case, he said in this contract, for which he was paid $10 million a year, said that he would do it, uh, he was doing it in part to benefit the Putin government. So there are connections. We don't know what there are. It probably is fair because this story does not say it affects Donald Trump right now, that Donald Trump knew this in 2005 or 6, many years before he ran for president. Sure. But this is one more thing to put out there that uh, is raising a lot of smoke and a lot of questions. Pat, let's go back to the Republican health care bill. Do you think that President yeah. Trump has the votes to actually get it passed in the House? No. No, I don't think right now that President Trump does. There is not a single Democratic vote for this. And the, among the most conservative Republicans, they're not going to vote for this thing, uh, in part because they don't think it goes far enough to repeal Obamacare. Now, a lot of other Republicans are nervous because the Congressional Budget Office said that up to 26 million people, 24 million people, are going to lose their health care over the next 10 years. So this thing is not yet a, a vote, a done deal, uh, but President Trump has promised, and this is the art of the deal, he's a deal maker, so this is a signal, a test of his strength. First test for sure. Uh, back yep. here in Minnesota, let's talk about Southwest Light Rail, because this is something else. Are the feds yep. really going to say, okay, you Republicans don't want this money, we're going to keep it? Uh, yes, uh, I think that is possible you that they, they will might. not give it to Minnesota. Yes, but it's not going to stay in the federal government. It would most likely go to other cities. Some other state that would get planning. the money, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, going to another city that is planning uh, some sort of light rail transit project. Now, a lot of the folks that I'm talking with here at the Minnesota State Capitol are saying that President Trump uh, and Representative uh, Runbeck called him the new sheriff in town has promised to cut some of these programs. They say this is a really good one to cut. And this is uh, 84 Republicans signed this, including the top leaders in both the House and the Senate transportation areas. So yeah, I do think that there is a question here. Will it actually happen? Who knows, but I think the odds are better than people think. Interesting. Pat, thank you. You Pat bet. will keep an eye on everything over at the Capitol today. Look for his reports, as always, on our news at 5 and 6.